Hey everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Tech Up channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss BPRO interview question and answer for automation test engineer. And this is the latest question. Okay, someone has shared this question with me. So I'm going to share with you guys. If you are new in the channel, please subscribe my channel. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. Okay, so let's move in the first question. The first question is always tell me about yourself. If you are watching my series, you can skip this question. We have already discussed this question. Okay, so what do you have to highlight in your tell me about yourself, right? So as experience, you know, uh, we have to uh, explain crisp and clear. Basically, the interviewer is looking for your like name uh, as, as per your choice. Okay, so you can tell your name, your current organization, your relevant relevant experience that is very important like if you're having the total six year of experience so how many years you have worked in automation api testing manual testing mobile testing so you have to highlight this point your skill set is very important okay so you have to highlight your skill set in which project you are working so you have to explain your domain or which framework you are using and your roles and responsibility so these are the things you can highlight in tell me about yourself. So let's move in the another question. Second question is what type of the framework do you have used? So many manual tester or auto, um, or uh, you know the people who is from different background, you guys learn the Java Selenium, but you did not practice for framework, right? When you will join the company, you have to work on the framework or you have to design the framework, right? So this is very important. If you know the basics, if you know the basics, you have done the practice, have to learn the framework as well. Without framework, do not start your interview because this is very important, okay? So I have used hybrid framework. The combination of any two framework is called hybrid framework. So our framework is the combination of data-driven framework and modular-driven framework. Arranging all the test cases in the module wise is called modular-driven framework. Getting the data from Excel and hence it is called data driven framework. So just I took this a snapshot guys. So but in the real time we having the many thing inside this framework. So the any project like we having the Java project. So Java Selenium project should develop on the Maven and Maven we having the standard structure. We have a main folder and we having the test folder. Okay, in main folder, like whatever the common things are there for the all the test cases, we implement over there. Like you can see one package is there like page object. Another package is there like, you know, <clears throat> business library. So, it, you know, it depends upon how the client is looking to design our, you know, framework as per the requirement. In business library, all the common things are there. Like uh, we are going to initialize the driver. Then just uh, my class name is the create driver. Then we have an extend report. We are going to generate the report. Then we have a handler. So here, like in all the Selenium, in Selenium, we having the action class. We have a select class, right? So all the reusable method we can keep inside the handler class. Then uh, these are the like uh, like extra classes are there. I have to delete one. We having the Excel reader, like uh, you know, you can see get data or Excel reader. So here we have uh, some advanced library of the Excel. Okay, now uh, we have a test runner class where you are going to develop your, uh, you are going to run your uh, script from there or you are implementing on dot class all the test cases. Then you could see we having the some folder here, config folder, where we have uh, some li like a file, properties file, like we can, in, uh, we can declare over there uh, in which browser you want to execute or URL. Then we have a driver, so just I'm going to keep exe file. Then we have a JSON file also, so we can read the data from the JSON file also. We have a logs folder, we have a screenshot folder. So these are the important components are there in our framework, okay? So let's move in the another question. Can you explain test ng framework, right? So test ng is a testing framework which is designed to cover all the category of test like unit functional into in we can combine test ng with selenium and we can write the test cases in the eclipse using the java okay test ng j unit and n unit are separated 
a separate text engine framework which is freely available in the market so this is the open source and test ng and j unit mainly we can integrate with java whereas n unit work with c sharp so j unit come by default with the eclipse but test ng you have to install and add on okay so we having the many features guys so here just i took this point this is the combine combined point we have so test ng have a fewer annotation to compare to oh sorry j unit so here you can tell the comparison of as well okay so like uh, and you know we having the various annotation inside this test ng like we have a because the execution start from a direct test then we have a before class uh before method before suite after suite before test many annotation are there so you can just go through the test ng website and you can explore then we have a data driven uh data provider okay annotation and we having the default uh, uh reporting as well inside data test ng we can do uh many like execution you can do the batch execution you can do the parallel execution you can do the grouping execution you can only execute the failed test cases you we can configure this test engine with you know like maven or jenkins right so we having the xml file so we having the many configuration okay as per the requirement we can do that so many features are there inside this test engine okay so let's move in the another question so what type of the domain you have worked on so i have worked on banking domain e-commerce domain and healthcare domain so what the domain you have worked you can explain so many people are confused here right so simply guys if you are a manual tester and if you want to put your project right in automation so whatever the application you have worked you have to tell the same you know the functionality so if you can also explain like this functionality we have automated and whatever they're doing the practice right so that, that practice you can include that right so many of them are struggling here you know what project i can show in automation right that is the big confusion right <laughs> so if you are manual tester you can show the same project but your responsibility will be changed right because you have worked in the manual so manual what you know that is fine you know the functionality you know the application okay but writing the script you have to include in the roles and responsibility right so how what is the roles and responsibility in the automation i have already uploaded the video but i will create a one separate video how you can show your manual project in automation okay <laughs> sorry guys mm. let me yeah move in the another question what is the approach to do automation okay so we having the various approach to do the automation guys it totally depend upon the you know client requirement like your client is asking to start your automation using the playwright or javascript or java selenium or i want to or do automation like the codeless automation tools right it totally depend upon the client requirement as per the client requirement we have to go ahead we have to show them the poc and be having the some budget like they want to only use uh, open source tools right so it totally depend upon the client requirement what they want to approach to us accordingly we can implement okay so there are the different approach to the automation testing but the most commons are like first approach is their record and playback so this approach involve using the tools to record user action on the application and then play them back to the creator automated test while this approach is easy to use at is it, it can be a fragile and change to the application can be break the recorded a script okay then a scripting so this approach involve writing the test script in programming language such as java python ruby mm -hmm. using the test automation framework such as selenium or apm so this approach require the pro programming a skill but provide the greater flexibility and can handle the complex scenario so now we having the keyword driven framework this approach involved to creating the test cases using the predefined keyword or actions such as a click type select so the keyword the keyword are the mapped with the test automation script allowing the non technical user to create the automation so when we have a keyword driven framework so simply 
uh, we we should not do any a scripting part just we have to use this keyword in a scripting we use the programming to you know implement our script but driven driven simply we can use the keyword and in backend it will execute and just we are using our keyword we are not writing the programming and a script over there data driven this approach involved to creating the test cases that use the different set of the data the test data is stored in external files such as csv excel xml and the test script read the data from so be having the various way to read the data from the external file again it depend upon the clients okay hybrid so this approach combine the advantage of different approaches such as data driven keyword driven modular driven framework to provide the flexible and efficient solution for the test you know automation once again so it totally depend upon the when the choosing the approach to the automation testing it is important to consider the requirement of the project the skills expertise of the team and the level of maintainability and scalability okay need for the test automation code okay so it totally depend upon you know what the client is approaching accordingly you have to work have you worked on automation testing yes if you are a manual tester please start to work on the automation testing uh, automation testing okay learn any automation tools but common and programming is important okay please do not start your automation to learn any codeless automation because in the interview the companies are expecting the programming if you don't have a programming language you have to difficult to switch the job in the automation you can go for the java selenium python selenium any object oriented programming language and you must be required automation skill in your profile okay otherwise you will struggle to switch the job as well okay yes i have worked on the automation okay so another question is what type of the response you have validated in api testing so guys so recent market you must having the api testing knowledge okay at least you having the six month and one year of knowledge of api testing so we having the response status code okay so in the response state status code this includes checking that the http response code is correct such as 200 like 200 is your okay or successful like 404 not found for the request can be cannot be found so we have a status code success and failure status code you can search in the google you will get many codes are there then another component we can uh, validate response data so it include valid validating the response data written by the api right so when you are creating some account right so like you are getting some success matches you are getting some id so that is like you know what the response data is coming such as the format a structure or content of the data another is your response time okay so this includes checking the time taken by the api to respond to a request and ensure that it meets the required performance standard then we have a error code okay so this include verifying the error code written by the api are clear informative and help de help developers or tester identify the troubleshoot issue okay now security is also important so this includes validate validating that the api is secure and can be handled a different type of the security test such as authentication authorization and encryption rate limit this include verifying the api has the rate limit capabilities which restrict the number of requests user can make over a specific time period okay integration this include verifying that the api integration correctly with the other systems such as database web services and third party api okay so guys so this is my first part of this uh, session so be having the second part so just i am uh, going to make the second part because we having the many interviews questions so this video time will be increased so i thought i can separate this okay so again thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel
press bell icon to get new video notification. If you are attending the interview, please share your question. So I am very happy if you will share so I can share in my community. Okay. So this will help to the other people as well. Okay. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.